of the lymphatic system now let's talk about the vessels so we have lymphatic capillaries first which are the smallest vessels of the lymphatic system and they are closed ended tubes that form vast networks in the intercellular spaces within most organs now walls of lymphatic capillaries are composed of endothelial cells with porous junctions which means it has like small gaps inside and interstitial fluid proteins white blood cells microorganisms and absorbed fat can easily enter into these lymphatic capillaries so once fluid enters the lymphatic capillary it's now known as lymph okay now following on from this the next size up we have lymph ducts so the lymphatic capillaries merge so they join together and then the lymph contained is carried into a larger lymphatic vessel which is known as a lymph duct. Now the lymph duct walls are similar in structure to the vein wall. So they have the same three layers and they have valves as well in place to prevent backflow of lymph. So the fluid movement within these vessels occurs as a result of peristaltic waves of contraction. So it helps to squeeze the lymph across. So the smooth muscle within the lymph ducts contain a pacemaker that initiates the action potential associated with the entry of calcium ions, which stimulates the contraction. So there's the activity of the pacemaker and the peristaltic waves of contraction which are increased in response to the stretch of a vessel. So remember, in the lymph ducts, we have pacemakers in the smooth muscle, and there are peristaltic waves, which help to squeeze the lymph across, and then it eventually goes into lymph nodes. But remember that when there's a greater stretch of this vessel, then the pacemaker will increase in activity, and there would be more peristaltic, peristaltic waves of contraction. Okay, so lymph ducts, eventually empty into either the thoracic duct or the right lymphatic duct. Now, these dr ducts drain lymph into the left and right subclavian, subclavian veins, and therefore interstitial fluid, which is formed by filtration of plasma out of the blood capillaries, is ultimately returned back into the cardiovascular system. But before doing so, they are filtered through lymph nodes. Okay, so lastly, we can talk about lymph nodes. So lymph nodes contain phagocytic cells, which help remove pathogens, and they also contain germinal centers, which are sites of lymphocytic produc production. So the lymphoid organs are tonsils, the thymus, and spleen, and they contain the germinal centers, uh, and they are sites of lymphocyte production. So remember, the lymph nodes act as a sort of filter to help to uh, phagocytose the microorganisms and just help to clean up the lymph which was initially absorbed from the into the lymph vessel.